How much longer are we gonna play this game? Stop complaining and sit down. Oh, man. Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. Do you buy things according to trends? <laughs> So that's the one you choose. I'm beginning to understand you. Now, this is the fourth floor. Once you're past this, you will be halfway through. Finally. Night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me, damn it. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? What are you trying to say? <laughs> We'll go soon. This is the final area for tonight. A steep face is in your path. Stay calm and take it step by step.
How's this? position. So, what did you want to talk about? What are you doing here? Oh. Are you okay? Did you drink too much last night? You called me over. You don't even remember. Huh? No way. Uh, I mean, yesterday, I... <sighs> What's wrong? You're acting weird. Weird? Me? God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? I mean, it's like the important parts are missing. Oh, I remember them, though. Oh, well, I wonder why I... <laughs> Silly. Huh? Hey, what's this long hair? <sighs> That's Catherine's. What should I do? Should I just tell her? No, I can't let her find out like this. Oh, that's mine. Probably off my chest. <laughs> you know, manly. <laughs> huh? Your chest? Really? Yeah, yeah. Y you know, uh, it's it's that 
But you know when sometimes the long white hair grows on your body, it, it's good luck? But this is, like, really long. Yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> good thing, too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself, you know? Oh, really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, 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 hey. Knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die, or I kill you. Which would be better? Take... Come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Fine, I'll give you... five seconds. If you don't answer me, I'll kill you. One... two... three... four... Hey, come on, come on! Quit fooling around! Five... There's no other girl! Right, you're imagining things! Hmm... Is that the truth? Of course it is. Hmm... <sighs> okay, I trust you. Thanks. <sighs> God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh, no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You don't have to get that, do you? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. No. Uh, hey! What the heck? Why is this locked? Unchain this door! Uh Sure, but uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> what the hell, Vincent? What is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. <clears throat> he gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... Uh. Huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Now hey! Go, 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 go. Uh. Sorry. Really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Uh, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen. I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. See ya.
We still need to meet my parents and tell them. Oh, and we have to pick a name, but that might be rushing things. I'll text you the details later. I gotta go. <sighs> Meeting the parents. I'm just gonna sit here and let this happen. Hmm? Let her tempt me. Shit, if she finds out I am screwed. I gotta do something quick. No time to think about the future. But still. Did you see the movie where the guy was, uh, you know... Shut up, asshole! And just give me some toilet paper, please! Well, quit mumbling. I can't concentrate in here. Still, this girl... Look, girl? Hey, what are you looking at in there? I wanna see? Oh, shit. God, what am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. So, uh, you still doing the two-timing tango? Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. Yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. What I'm saying is you've got options ahead of you. Well, yeah. Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> My mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, then you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. I know. I know. Accidents, huh? More and more of them lately. The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard. Shocking, huh? But he always did like to party. Probably party too hard. He had this horrible look on his face. Really? It's like that stuff on the news. <sighs> anyway, have some magaro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. No. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. You? Nah, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Owen, I am pregnant. She's pregnant, and here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. Did you know the United States outlawed alcohol between 1920 and 1933? 
It is said that this very prohibition paved a way for the cocktail culture to bloom. Alcohol made in secret tended to taste terrible, so people began mixing it with anything and everything to make it more enjoyable. These are the roots of the modern cocktail. The more you stamp on a weed, the more it thrives. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Tea already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. All right, you know what you want? I'll try sake. Okay, I'll be right back. There you go. It's pretty rare for you to be here by yourself. Maybe I'll have a drink with you. Hey, don't you work here? Do your job. Ugh, with the boss like that? I thought an old guy like him would be cool, but boy, was I wrong. You sure know how to choose a place to work. Cheating. Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? Whew. I don't want to let her down just because I was being stupid. Whew. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake. Do you know who the first Westerner to drink Japanese sake was? According to records, it was Spanish missionary Francis Xavier, who came to Japan in 1549. In his letters written back home, he was amazed to learn that the alcohol was made from rice, not fruit. It must have been a rice surprise. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. Good evening. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Would you rather watch golf at home? Would you rather watch baseball at home? This one? I don't think Mr. Todd would say that. I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd was hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new wounds. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it's four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? Mr. Morgan is dreamy today. Mr. Morgan looks the same as he did 20 years ago. A woman Mr. Morgan loved was killed. Mr. Morgan didn't follow her into death. I wonder if he will kill the murderer. When we get married, you want to go on a honeymoon in space? They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Sure, I'd like to go to space one day. Who wouldn't? But let's be real here. If I had that kind of dough, I'd buy a house. Or pay off my car and have primo steaks for a month. Wow, what a dreamer. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? He don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that with three words. Come on. I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Johnny? You're 
friend looks melancholic. You mean me? Sorry, but I don't have any problems for you to talk about, boss. Is the rest of your group working tonight? Some days our schedules don't meet up. That's all. It's a bit lonely without them. Uh, speaking of which, the biggest reason men start thinking about marriage is loneliness. Marriage is a state where two people can't stand living together and can't stand living apart. To nab a quotation from a certain someone. If you stay in an apartment by yourself long enough, you tend to start thinking, maybe if I had a family. But when it comes down to actually getting married, we all hesitate. It makes me embarrassed to hear that. Throw back some liquor and hit the hay. To get the whole of the sky on the ground, you have to lie. Though that rumor about strange nightmares does worry me a bit. Strange nightmares? Why don't you ask around? Everyone here seems to be talking about it. You got... Still, these past few days, a strange rumor has been spreading like wildfire here. You got mail. It's you. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? Gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. You, you have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating six years ago. You killed your wife, and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. Huh. You got me. Sorry, I don't have any information about that incident. I'll be on the job today, though, so hopefully I'll have something for you. Hello. I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then, too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while, you remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Yeah, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We were all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. It's with you all of a sudden. Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> hey, really, what's, what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Sure. I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me even more tired. Your girlfriend, huh? What's she like? <laughs> what? You, you want to know? You never talk about her. Toby was wondering, too. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm?
Hello. Oh, hey. Do you have some time to talk? I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Yeah. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? I'm sorry. I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? I drink and drink, but I can't get drunk. Hey. It's you. Sit. I've been waiting to speak alone with you. I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? It's not like that. Maybe it wasn't to you. But I've been trying to surpass you all along. What? I don't think I'm that great of a person. In the end, there's not a single thing that I'm better at than you. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh. Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiancé. Uh... I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. Today? Hey, uh, do I look like a good person? Yeah? You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Huh? I sleep with lots of women, take their money, and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> what about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Well, I, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? I don't know. Women don't stay true either. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. You got mail. Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling, just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic, a horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point, he'd been plagued with nightmares. The news, it's all about the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me, it seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. It's just a coincidence. Well, 
I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home, just having a little fun. And then she comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised weaponry at me. Phew, what a night. Uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Hmm. Then maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. Well, these will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. for you at the quadrangle. You'll be frozen with fear. This voice. Huh? Everyone seems to be a bit more tired than usual. Are the nightmares because of lack of sleep? Even if they were, they're all happening at once. Ah, uh, oh well, shucks, it's late. I'm tired today. I should go home and get some rest. You guys are still just kidding. 